In this video, we're going to explore how to calculate the energy of a photon. We'll solve three problems. First, calculating photon energy from its frequency. Second, from its wavelength. And third, finding the wavelength when the energy is given. Let's begin with the first problem. Calculate the energy of a photon whose frequency is 6.75 times 10 to the power of 12 per second. To do this, we use the photon energy equation E equals H times nu. E stands for energy, measured in joules. This tells us how much energy a single photon carries. H is Planck's constant, a fixed value in physics. 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34 joule seconds. Nu, the Greek letter nu, represents frequency, measured in hertz, which is the same as per second. Now we substitute directly. E equals 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34 joule seconds, times 6.75 times 10 to the 12 per second. When we multiply, the seconds in joule seconds and the per second from the frequency cancel out. That leaves us with only joules as the unit, which makes sense because energy is measured in joules. Carrying out the multiplication in one step, we get E equals 4.47255 times 10 to the minus 21 joules. Now that we've seen how to find the energy when the frequency is given, Let's move to a slightly different situation. This time we're given the wavelength and we'll need to find the energy of the photon from that. Because the speed of light equation works with meters, not nanometers, we must first convert. One nanometer is one times 10 to the minus nine meters. So 322 nanometers becomes lambda equals 322 times 10 to the minus 9 meters, or 3.22 times 10 to the minus 7 meters. We still use the same formula for energy, E equals H times nu. But here, we don't know nu yet. So first, we find nu using the speed of light equation. Nu equals C divided by lambda. We'll take C as exactly 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. So, Nu equals 3 times 10 to the 8 divided by 3.22 times 10 to the minus 7. That comes out to about 9.31677 times 10 to the 14 per second. Now, plug that straight into E equals H times nu. E equals 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34 joule seconds multiplied by 9.31677 times 10 to the 14 per second. The per second from the frequency cancels with the seconds in joule seconds, leaving just joules. That gives us 6.173 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. So far, we've gone from frequency to energy in part one, and from wavelength to energy in part two. But what if we already know the energy of the photon and need to find its wavelength? That's what we'll do in part three. Here, the energy is 2.87 times 10 to the minus 18 joules. We start with the equation E equals H times nu. This time we rearrange it to find nu, frequency, by dividing E by H. So, nu equals 2.87 times 10 to the minus 18 joules, divided by 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34 joules seconds. The joules cancel out, and we're left with per second as the unit, which is exactly what we want for frequency. That gives us about 4.33 times 10 to the 15 per second. Now, we use the equation C equals lambda times nu. Rearranging for lambda gives lambda equals C divided by nu. We take C as exactly 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second and divide by 4.3 3 times 10 to the 15 per second. The per second in the denominator cancels with the per second in C, leaving meters. Doing that division gives about 6.928 
times 10 to the minus 8 meters. So that's everything you need to know about the connection between the frequency, wavelength, and energy of a photon. Keep practicing, because every question you work through makes you more confident and precise. And if something's still unclear, just leave your question in the comments. I'll make sure to reply. See you in the next one.